The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. <sighs> I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Feels pretty good. I guess he slept here. It's dead. Man, and I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. Give him a break. His uncle just died. Yeah, true enough. I don't know what I'd do if I lost Beck. I'm just saying. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she just shot this other woman. Damn. What'd you do? We left her behind. Damn. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca... Well, she's eaten for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Thanks, Clementine. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Well, what are we waiting for? to be careful careful we've been on the road for five days my back is done being careful doesn't look like anybody's home damn nail down tight I'll check around front I'll go with you well it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. That sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Whoa, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? Keep your voice down. But you just yelled at me. Shut up. Made it. You see anything? I can see the bridge. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm... Good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep.
still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son... Well... He took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid... Well... Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. It's a long story. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. That's all we got. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. 